where are you in terms of figuring out whether Grow starts on the active roster? Or goes to the well, his his will be fairly easy, and I mean, look, there's a reserve injured designation that we can use. That means he's got to be on the active for a day, and and then go to that with the timeline of his injury that fits that tag. Um, Tehran, some of these other guys, we'll look at more closely. When you looked at the film of the runs with Ingram and Peterson, um, how do you kind of evaluate that? Because I know sometimes the production can be misleading as to how close it is or, or you know what you want to see. Well, look, I think there's some things when we watched it that we felt like we could have blocked better. I think you know uh, it was a limited exposure, so you know you're wanting. You want to see closely, hey, why'd we gain three yards instead of five yards? You know, why did why did we lose a yard on the screen? I mean, those are all things we'd look at. And, but that being said, uh, we're getting a ton of work out here, and, and I think we've got a pretty good idea of where we're at with those two players. Sean, just to clarify, you, you are leaning toward putting Delvin on the IR? Yeah, we haven't done any of that yet, but it, 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 it he fits that. With the timeline of his injury, it fits perfectly. So, but we haven't decided that, but he's different than Tehran, who might be ready earlier than that six-week window. And so that, then you get into, well, what do you want to do with Tehran? I, I think Delvin's situation is, is a little bit uh, cleaner in regards to a timeline. Don't you have a pup availability with Tehran? Yeah, and we, we would use that. We wouldn't use the injury designation. We'd just leave him on pup without having to protect them on a roster spot. Are there any of these other injuries, injured guys who you've designated? Those would be the only two guys that, okay. right now that, that I know Mickey and I have talked about. 